Yo, a nigga saying what a great battle, but you about to see a fucking snake rattle. Boy, you just a pony with a pink saddle. I'm truly sorry that you stuck inside a Drake shadow. When are you gonna overcome? When are you gonna let- What's up, you beautiful people? What's up and welcome back to the channel. We shooting on an iPhone uh, 12 today, okay? iPhone 12, hopefully the quality's good on the front screen. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. You are not watching, I say Josh, and you know how it is, you know what it is. All right, we got some goodies, all right? My boy was supposed to come over and help me, but you were slacking, bro. It's all good, it's all good, all love. Um, help me with that E85 kit, it should be in. Hopefully tomorrow. If not, we'll try it again next week. So what we're installing today, let me bring y'all over here. Uh, I'm tired of this, right? So it is finally time to get rid of this ugly air box. All right, finally time to get rid of this ugly air box. This baby was super stock, stock to the stock to the stock for the last two years. All right, I do have this 2018 Chevy Camaro ZL110 Speed. All right, they say ZLE, this is gonna be the ZL me because I did everything myself. Hopefully I didn't put my ugly toes in the picture. But the biggest deal is this baby right here. She's still warm, the car's been parked for three hours. So when I say this thing get heat soak, it get heat soak and I see why we got all those intercoolers and heat exchangers and crap on this thing. But we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I ordered um, a new one. I don't know what company this is, but we'll go through it, right? So right here you can see uh, JLT Performance. This is where we went ahead and went with for the parts. So JLT. Boom. All right, hold on. I'm guessing this is the box with the filter right here. So that's pretty cool. We got the filter. Again, um, they had the option of going with the dry or the oil filter. I did the oil filter. I'm pretty sure my car senses told me that was the one to go with. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. All right, here we go. Again, we, we went with the, this plastic is not metal um, and it's not the high speed carbon fiber. That one was like an extra two, $300, but this isn't bad. JLT looks good, you know, um, best bang for the buck. We'll go ahead and test it out. Inside is siliconed out, so that's gonna help with the heat as well. And then in this corner, we have ah, the box, okay? Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's made pretty well. Oh, that's plastic. It feels metal though, but no, it's plastic. And then we have the rubber around it. Um, now again, I seen online, some people were showing that this was uh, pretty hard to put on and they had to cut it. I'm hoping that's not the case, but if we have to cut it, you will see it right here. This is not a, this is a do it yourself. All right, this should be easy. I shouldn't be struggling. I'm gonna struggle, but I shouldn't take forever to put this on. Plus, it'll be time lapse for you guys. Second of all, um, I'm not gonna do probably step by step. I'll see. We'll see how I feel by then. And last but not least, I really don't like instructions, but let's go ahead and look at the instructions here. Like I said, we went with the JLT Performance for Ford, Chevy, Mopar, and Jeep, okay? So this is pretty cool. That gives you an idea of what it looks like in the top right corner. Let's see what she has on the back. All right, so it says shoot it. Uh, you can always have your smartphone handy, tag it. Make sure we tag them. Um, connect, review, happy with your JLT, I will leave a review. So we will see, if we're happy with the product, we will leave a review because I believe in making sure we grow these American businesses and companies out here, especially when they support all the big American brands, our Mopar, our Ford, our Chevy, and our Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler, all that good stuff. All right, something I suck at doing, the first thing you wanna do is disconnect the battery. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and remove the stock intake, which would be pretty easy. And then we are going to put the stock uh, map sensor or airflow sensor from the stock intake into the new aftermarket one. Then we are going to remove a 10 millimeter bolt for the, uh, the box right here and get that stuff started. Finished product should be looking something like this. Now, again, when it comes to your intake, all you need is a flat head. You need look like Allen keys up here and regular screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get those parts and get started. All right, so like I said, we gotta go ahead and disconnect the battery.
Oh yeah, I'm out here sweating. Let me show y'all why I need a damn catch can on this car. Yeah, she looking a little rough in there, man. Look at this. Look at this. And I'm black. That's black on, look at that, that's black. This ain't black. That is black, so um, I definitely need to get a catch can in the future. I'm gonna clean that out before I put the new one on, of course. It's hard for me to hold this, but um, this is gonna connect to this, easy plug and play, and that's what I'm guessing it's gonna look like. So let's go ahead and get that on. Um, I can't really hold this phone though. So quick thing, it comes with the rubber uh, silicone foam. It comes with the clamps. And then um, I'm gonna lift this out of the way because I need to remove this box. I'm just trying to see what the hell is holding it on. All right, finally got the uh, filter out. Um, I wanna see what this looks like. Woo. Yeah, I haven't changed that in a minute. Yeah. Out with the old, let me check in here. So you guys can see in here. And then the air just comes through right there, it has a better vent inside to come out. So that is pretty handy dandy. Now let's put the big filter on this tip. I need two hands. All right, this just goes on to this, so you guys know what to do. I wanna do this quick, but I'll do it slow piece for piece for you guys. So we conducted step one, take off battery, or step three, take off battery. Step four, unloosen everything. Step five, it says I actually put the sensor back in. So next time, don't do what I did and leave the sensor connected. Um, just put it back in. And then step six, they say pretty much just remove a uh, 10 millimeter bolt from the drive. Um, and you connect it to the side of the fenders. Let's see how that works. The picture looks like, like this. All right. So just like so, it should fit right back into the older bolt holes. Not buttholes, I said bolt holes. So I want you to remove this 10 millimeter right here. That's gonna go on there. All right. And it's, this, is, this part is just gonna stick in here. So I got a 10 millimeter somewhere over here. <clears throat> Let's remove that first. There we go. Boom. Easy peasy. All right, we got the box in. Like I said, it just sticks in here. This slides in. The only part that connects on this one is right here. Um, I messed up by putting the filter on first. So I'm going to loosen this. All right. Let me loosen it a little more. All right, so I popped it on. I'm gonna move this on this side. Feel for the bottom lip. Make sure that bottom lip is on. Boom. The fitment up here is a little weird. But let me see if I can make that work. That's what the finished product looks like. That is exactly what the finished product looks like. Tightened up. Make sure I got all the parts out of here. I could just throw them in there for now. Clean up behind ourselves. Keep all my stock stuff because whether I keep it, sell it, I don't know. I'm gonna put all my stock parts up because for now, I'm keeping it. But I like it. I mean, now if I pop it at a car show, now, if I pop it at a car show, I think that'll look way better, right? Intake manifold on there. 
looking better. Yeah, I like it. It's not because it was hard that I'm sweating like this. It's only honestly because my garage has no damn air condition. Let me know what you guys think about JLT Performance. Again, guys, JLT Performance. I bought this package for $2.99 on sale, which is amazing because of Big Gulp and other ones um, come for a price of about five to seven hundred, five, six, seven hundred bucks. Um, they say you get what you pay for, but I'm gonna give it a few drives. Um, I'll add that to a video in the morning. It's dark out. Um, and then I'll let you guys know what I think. Maybe I can hear a little more wine. Maybe I'm just going a little crazy, but uh, I like it. I love it. I enjoy it. E85 should be on its way. And then we'll go ahead and check it out. Still looking for headers. If you know some great spots or cheap headers or decent headers, um, again, I know what you get. You get what you pay for. But I love you guys. And until next time, it's your boy, Josh. You and I are watching. I stay Josh. And stay strong. Keep your mask on. And I love you guys. Peace. Wait, wait. I lied. I lied. Um, I forgot. The main complaint was this thing doesn't close. So we need to go ahead and test that out because it's, it's looking like it, it's not going to close. Woo. Let's go. Yeah, Shama Lama Lama. It closed. Reviews are great. Let's see. I mean, y'all talk about they don't close. Come on, man. Stay positive. Stay freaking positive. Let's put this battery back on, turn her on, and we're done. Now we're out. Peace. So fuck that side. <laughs> don't ride us. Yeah. Don't ride or die. Yeah. Biz, biz blowing, nigga. Hold up. Yeah. Hey, iceberg. Yeah. All I need is one.